Hello controllers, how are you doing? Welcome to a new video of undercontrolling.com. In the previous post of my blog, I explained how to build a sales bridge or also called volume mix price analysis with the target of analyzing the gap between budget and actual sales of our company. And we learned how to calculate the three effects. So if you haven't read it yet, I recommend you to have a look because you can also download an Excel file with a sales bridge example, including the formulas. But today we are going to focus on understanding a little bit better every effect. As you can see in the screen, we have an Excel file with a list of references and sales information for both budget and actual figures. Besides, we have add formulated columns in order to get the volume, mix and price effect for each reference. What are we going to do now? we are going to change some values in order to see what is the impact of every change. As a starting point, we have an actual values which are exactly the same than budget. Therefore, we have no sales variation. We can start with maybe the easiest one, the price effect. This effect is calculated as the difference between actual and budget price multiplied by the actual units. So if we take one of the references, for example, T red, and we increase the actual price up to 210 euros per reference, we get a positive deviation of 300 euros, which is the result of multiplying 10 euros of higher actual price by the unit sold, 30. Obviously, if we decrease the sales price in another reference, for example, T green, we will get a negative price effect. This is pretty simple. Now we are going to analyze the impact of a change in the volume. But first of all, we are going to restore the prices to the initial point in order to remove the price effect and focus only on the volume change. A change in volume may have impact not only in the volume effect, but also in the mix. For example, if we put five additional units in T red, we got a positive deviation due to a positive volume effect, but also a positive mix effect. But what happened if now I put five units less in T green? As you can see, my deviation is still positive. However, I only have mix effect. Why don't I have a volume effect anymore? Because the total actual units is equal to the total budget units. And why if we are selling the same volume of references, we have a positive deviation? Due to the mix effect. We are selling the same volume in total, this is true, but the mix is different. And in this case, the mix effect is positive because we are selling more units from the most expensive reference. However, if I do it in the other way around, and I put five units less in T red, in T red, sorry, but five units more in T green, the total result is negative, as the five T green units are sold with a cheaper price than T red product. And in which cases a change of volume will not bring a mix effect? Well, when the mix, or in other words, the percentage of every reference over the total, don't change. For example, if we duplicate the volume for every reference, we will have the volume impact but no mix impact. Here we have. Ok guys, I hope you liked the video, this is all, thank you very much and I see you in the next video, bye!